please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, editor here with today's video. Fork valving, how it works, and because of how it works, why you might need to upgrade it. And it's also a how-to for all of you do-it-yourselfers who wanna service the valving and the, and the cartridge and the shims that are in there and get that all cleaned up and serviced your own self. Here's a preview. Okay, first thing to notice on a teardown is that this inner cartridge is covered in metal. Look at all that. So we had a lot of residual metal in the fork. The other thing to notice is that up here there used to be a ring and in that supported around that was a, essentially a donut which was your hydraulic lock. That served two purposes. One was what is it entered that chamber. There wasn't much gap between it and the edge of the chamber, so oil could only come out so fast. The other point was that when it hit bottom here, it hit bottom. But with nothing there, now the rebound piston can actually whack and hit the compression piston. So once this is removed, there's a bit of an issue in that if you don't get your travel dead on perfect, you run the risk potentially, and when we take this apart, we'll see, of having pistons hit each other. So at this point, that technically would be bottom. If we had our donut on here, there's not very much clearance there. So because there's not a whole lot of clearance, if you get too far in the travel and there's no mechanical stop here, there's the high probability of collision and that doesn't work very well at all. So the one on the left is the rebound? This is the rebound rod with the rebound piston. Mm -hmm. This is the compression holder with the compression piston. Gotcha. Again, very carefully, we've got to lay all this out because each individual shim has to get cleaned. And they're stacked in that way on purpose. So, there is a defined order in which all of this goes together. There's a lot of maths and science behind it, and what goes where and why. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.